can Jalen Hurts be the first read option quarterback to win a Super Bowl? I look at him as a read option quarterback. Rich, uh, what's his name? Madrid. He came on my post and said that Russell Wilson was the first read option quarterback to win a Super Bowl. I never looked at Russell Wilson as a read option quarterback. To me, he's, he's more a scrambler. So I guess first question is, I mean, they would call like a couple. I, I'm looking. He never really ran the ball more than four or five times a game. I want to say he had 135 rushes that season when he won the Super Bowl compared to Jalen Hurts, who has 160, 65. Um, okay. But it's, it felt like to me, Russell Wilson was more like off script stuff. But according to Rich, he had half of them were design runs. So do you, do you consider Russell Wilson the first read option quarterback to win a Super Bowl? Or do you think that's still in play for Jalen Hurts? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you, you, I guess you could call it Russell, but I mean, I do think that Jalen, that the Eagles do it more. I mean, Jalen Hurts is way bigger. He's running the ball. I mean, in the, uh, in the regular season, he ran the ball 11 times a game. I mean, we were freaking out about Trey Lance doing that, but Jalen Hurts was a second round pick. He's built like a running back. He's got a lot of experience. He's good at it. It seems like they're more committed to running their quarterback than any team that's come this close to winning a Super yeah. Bowl, other than maybe the Niners with Colin Kaepernick. Although, again, I don't think Kaepernick was running the ball 11 times a game. So, uh, yeah, I think it's very intriguing, and I don't see why it can't work. I mean, they're there. He's healthy. The idea is, can you get him there healthy? He almost got, he missed a couple games, but he's there, he's healthy. I mean, it seems like it could happen. It, it could work. And we, we don't think about Russell Wilson being the first guy because he won that Super Bowl, like, what, 41-8? to eight? Like, there wasn't a lot of zone read that was necessary in that game. Game was over immediately. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And, and, you know, it's, to credit to Jalen Hurts, I don't mean to classify him as just a running quarterback because what he's been able to do as a quarterback has been phenomenal. I believe his completion percentage is towards yeah. the top. His, his uh, touchdown to interception ratio, I think, is first. Um, so he's also a really good passer. So I don't mean to just put him in a box. He is a really good passer. Away. Yeah, good, good deep court. thrower, good from the pocket. Doesn't necessarily the difference between I feel like him and Russell Wilson is Russell Wilson would a lot of times like Purdy escape the pocket to throw. Mm -hmm. I don't see that as much with her. like when he escapes the pocket, he is a devastating run threat. And maybe you feel like still I'm more worried about the guy who who uh, extends and throws and extends and runs. But I, Jalen Hurts' running ability is although it does seem like he hasn't been quite as explosive since he hurt his shoulder. I will say that. Yeah, doesn't seem he's been yeah. quite as explosive. Yeah. All right, so that brings me to kind of probably the last question for today. How? That's not it. That's Oop, not the that question. It. That's not the question. Hold on. There it is. There's the question. There it is. Who wins the Super Bowl, Grant? How do you see this playing out on Sunday? Are I you think the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. On my show? I, think, I think the Eagles are, are going to win the Super Bowl. Um, I, I know everyone around in the Bay Area is picking the Chiefs. I don't really understand why. Um Chiefs have a great quarterback and a great tight end and a great defensive tackle. But other than that, like, they're not nearly as good as they were when they beat the Niners in the Super Bowl. Like, that year, Patrick Mahomes was on his rookie deal. He's making, like, $4 million. They had a, they had a much more complete team. Now he's making $35 million and they had a, They don't have Tyreek anymore. And Nicole Hardman's on IR, and they've lost. So I, I'm a little concer I mean, concerned about their team. And then you look at Philly, like, they have – it's not like the, the gap between Mahomes and Jimmy in that Super Bowl. It's it's Mahomes, but Hurts is an MVP ca uh, candidate too, and he's making he's thirty five times cheaper than <laughs> yeah. than Mahomes, and so that's why Philly was able to sign Reddick and Bradbury and Kelsey and uh, Cox, and um, there was another. I mean, and trade for AJ Brown. That's how they were able to take this leap, and I feel like. They've been the best team all year. They're 16-1 and one with Jalen Hurts playing. And most of the time, like, it's over by halftime. The one time they lost, uh, his receivers fumbled like three times, and the opposing team ran the ball 49 times. Because the Eagles' pass rush is that good. It's, it's, our, it's one of the best pass rushes ever. So to beat the Eagles, you have to really be committed to not letting that pass rush knock your quarterback out of the game. The Niners didn't figure that out. So uh, I don't know. Do, is Andy Reid that kind of guy where he can actually go into a game? He is. He wants to use Patrick Mahomes. He has Patrick Mahomes. He wants to use Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. But you got to run the ball if you. Dude, Patrick Mahomes is going to get sacked a lot in this game. I, I'm afraid because he can't move, and Andy Reid wants to throw. Now maybe it's going to be one of these Andy Reid exhibitions of just screen and all these kind of like, you know, 
tricky gadget plays and the ball's out of Patrick Mahomes' hands instantly, but I just feel like there's too much temptation to air that thing out when you've yeah. got Patrick Mahomes. And that's like, do that at your own risk against this team. So I'm picking well, Philly. One thing I don't think, I don't think Andy Reid's going to come out running a bunch of play action. <laughs> I think he, Andy Reid's a smart guy. I think he's going to watch that Philly game like, we're not doing that. No, <laughs> you know? no, 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 um, no. So here's what, here's, I have a little theory, man. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but tell me, you've been a big proponent of the cheap quarterback and the benefits of that. And so is that partially why you're kind of, I want the, I want Eagles, right? Because I have a theory and, and I'll, in my theory, it's not just that I want it, but yeah, I, I just feel like my head tells me a team that's spending 17% of its salary cap on one great quarterback can't compete with a team that's spending 1% of their salary cap on an an elite quarterback as well, and their team yeah. is stacked. Like, there is a – the Eagles' defense is way better than Kansas City's defense. Their run game is way better than Kansas City's run game. Their wide receivers are way be- – like, it's all – people, when you ask what, why is Kansas City going to win, well, Mahomes is great, Andy Reid's great, and they have experience, and they're going to find a way. Like, I'm not moved by those by those arguments. So here, here's the, the – the reason why I said that, uh, because I have I had a theory before the season, and I want I want the Chiefs to win to prove that my theory was right, which was because before the season I tweeted out that um, the last I believe it's it's at least three, maybe four Super Bowl winners, their quarterback had over oh. 40, 40 touchdown passes during the season and four thousand passing yards during the season, and that would mean Patrick Mahomes. I tweeted out before the season. And I want to be right. So that's why I want the Chiefs. <laughs> but hold on. With Jalen Hurts, like, if you add rushing yards and touchdowns to his passing mm-hmm. totals and just do gross yardage and touchdowns, is he, like, over 4,000? He probably is. He probably is. Probably close, yeah, right? Yeah. I think he's at, like, 37 touchdowns. So maybe yeah. maybe not quite good enough. We'll see about Jalen Hurts, right? Yeah. This is a big game for him. Is he legit? He's on the cusp of getting – of being, like, the next highest paid player in the league. This close. Yeah. What's he going to do in the biggest game of his life? It'll be very interesting. Is he going to – because they can't bring it to a, at halftime this time. Sorry, you got to go through the whole way, Jalen. I, you know, I don't know. I, I just – you know, Patrick Mahomes, MVP, he's the GOAT to me right now at least. He's the Steph Curry of the NFL is what you you said, and I've been mm-hmm. stealing mm-hmm. and using that as well. Andy Reid to me, he's, he's brilliant. He's going to watch what the Eagles did to the Niners, learn from that. The Eagles linebackers are probably the weak part of their defense. They got Travis Kelsey – uh, I don't know, man. It's gonna be a good game. I, I, I'm going Chiefs because I want. Is Andy Reid gonna show Kyle Shanahan what he should have done? Yeah. Here, Kyle, take notes. I <laughs> I have Travis Kelsey and Jarek McKinnon. Watch what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free I, to steal this next year. <laughs> Maybe. Right. He might. It could be. He might. This is how it's. A, here's the thing, though. Again, you, I think you gotta run the ball. It's what it's what he did to the Niners week eight or whatever. He had that jet sweep game with Hardman was killing the Niners, and he's yeah. not there. Tyreek's not there. I'm just curious to see what Kansas City's gonna do to keep that pass rush off balance. What are you yeah. gonna do? Are you just gonna run it 49 times? Like they're not built to do what Washington did. Washington has a, is a big team with Brian freaking Robinson, and they want to play that way. But that is so not Kansas City. They're a finesse team. They're a finesse. Team. Like it's a finesse team, bro. So I want to see how this finesse team handles Philly, which is so not a finesse team.